Hello, I hope everyone is having a good Tuesday. Uh, I'm just sitting here uh, using locks as therapy again. Um, I quit my job yesterday and today I was just playing around with locks because I have time. Oh, this one's still open. No wonder. Um, this one I just discovered I can zip it now. I, I got it with one zip earlier. There we go. One zip. Uh, it's zippable. I call it zipping. I don't know what other people call that. But anyways, that guy's zippable. I got him on one zip. And uh, you have to return the, the core to its rightful place. I don't know what's wrong with this because that key is not... It's not in the right place right there. There we go. See how I had to move that around? There. That's where you belong. That's where you belong unless you're open. And if you're open, somebody might have done something like that to you. Uh oh, I don't have it completely set. I like to jiggle it back and forth to make sure the, the pins drop down because sometimes they don't. And you'll have one hanging there. Now this one I can I can Bogota also. I was basically just seeing if I could single pin pick it when I raked it open there earlier. There we go. Just like that. There you go. That's the master lock. And since we're at 1 minute 49 seconds, we can just attack a few more master locks just to teach them a lesson. There you go. I'll teach you a lesson. Let's see if we can't. We're hooking away today. Let's see if the hook won't work on this one. Hook rake, rake hook, hook. I don't want to drop this tool that's been so good on everybody else. I'm just going to try the zipping method on this guy. I don't. I know this one rakes real easily. It should zip. I'll switch over to a bogey. And demonstrate the raking that this thing is good at. Bam! It's not even raking. I just jabbed it in there and it opened. Alright. Get out of the way. Let's get a Brinksy. This one I know likes to rake. This is the one I really learned raking on. This kind of raking. I had never done this before because I figured it was damaging the lock or something. I don't know what I was thinking. But I saw other people doing it, and I went, wow, I should try that. And it really does work very well on mini locks. Don't fall down there. We got this little, uh, this guy's key retaining. It's a Brinks disc lock. Uh, you have to use a lot of attention. A lot of tension on it. Not, not a lot of a tension. A lot of tension on it uh, to get it to go. It tends to Bogota if you get it in the right spot. I want you to make a liar out of me. This one originally, when I messed with it, was being a pain in the ass. And lately I've been able to... As you practice with the lock, you get, uh, you get to know its little secrets and stuff. And what it likes and doesn't like. What works on it and doesn't work. And on this one, let me go back to the little hook. Because I know... I know a Bogota will work. One time I put a, I put a hook, a hook in here and I just like touched the pins in it open. So even if you run out of uh, locks, new locks to pick, you can always go back. Like Mim said, you can always go back and try different things. See, there's single pin picking on that. Uh, I want to put this key over here. I like to keep the keys with the lock. Okay, we locked you. We already know that. Well, let's go over here and attack another one. Just for the hell of it. Just because we can. And because it's a Brinks. And it's a small lock. Uh, various other reasons. Bam. Off you go. Off of your head. Let's get your brother here. He's laughing. He said, hi, ah, you didn't notice me. You can't pick me. I'm in... I'm extra high security. He's only like 
high security, but I'm super pro max, extra super duper security. I mean, the locks might as well make up their own ratings. I mean, a lot of companies do. So if a lock feels particularly com comfortable and says, hey, you know, I feel like I'm a higher security than these other guys, then that lock should probably get to go with that rating because they're all arbitrary. Bam. All right, who else are we going to attack while we're here? Let's attack big old Master Lock. He likes to show off. Says he's number nine security rating. You know, we already beat up number eight over there. You're actually usually easier to open than any of these other ones, but sometimes it can be a challenge and, and be a belligerent because I'm not keeping count of locks and everything. I just decided to pick on you. And he's putting a pretty good show up. Normally I can get this thing pretty quick, but today maybe... I don't know. You're not going to get away without being picked. If I have to go to 200 minutes, we're going to get you open. If I have to break a pick, I've already break, broken a um, Sparrow's Bogota today. Working on an El Cheapo lock. I got it hung up in there and broke it right off. No warning, it wasn't even like bending before, just bam, gone. And uh, when I ordered that Sparrow's Triple Peak, guess what? I ordered another one and now I'm using it. So, I didn't know it was going to break that fast. Look at this guy being belligerent. Alright, we'll just have to single pin pick you since you are playing Sir Idiot. Sir Idiot on me. I'll rake you, I'll single pin pick you, I'll call you names. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. So, I thought this was going to be an easy one because it usually is, but sometimes, sometimes you uh, goof up on your tension or the lock decides to say, hey, I'm going to show off. I'm going to show off and show them that I am actually a tough under fire master lock. Oh, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're just showing off for the camera. Okay. All right, so we've done enough damage, I believe, for one day on these locks. Waded through a few of them. Um, I guess I could try one more Brinks here just to see if everything is going real fast. Yes, another fast Brinks. So there you go, that's how fast it can go if things work your way, and if they don't, they can be belligerent like this guy. I've opened this guy in less than 18 seconds before. I've got that on video, but you can see how it struggles around. You don't hit the magic spot. Um, just try different tools. So this is a little beat to hell. I don't know if it's going to focus. There you go, a beat to hell. It's kind of bent, you can see in the middle there where I've been extra levering on it. Um, this is a brand new, I haven't even shined it up at all, Sparrow's Bogota that I slipped. I got these from uh, South Ord, the little handles. Those, These are really good, man. It's almost like what you get from Sparrow's as far as dipped in. and You get, I think, eight of them for $2.95, something like that. It's pretty cheap. It makes a big difference if you're doing long sessions and stuff like that. Look at all the graphite that got on my finger. I wonder where that came from. All right. I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, like I said, I'm using lock picking as therapy. Just basically recovering while I figure out what I'm going to do for my next job. I won't be working at the hell hole known as Redco anymore. So, everybody have a good day. Um, I'll be putting up more videos on uh, gutting a lock and stuff like that today because uh, I'm don't have. i not pressed for work. I don't have to go to work. 